is up guys, it's Mike Shimano here and welcome to episode 11 of my Gothic 3 playthrough where we're gonna explore and complete every possible quest that doesn't require too much traveling about. Um, in this particular episode this will be Trellis. already completed the uh, farm up there. Um, what was the guy's name again? I can't recall even though it was like a few minutes ago. Um, but I did that farm up there. I didn't do the temple, um, which I will do in this episode. So without further ado guys, let's go into trailers and start getting our reputation. Move along, Mora. Who's in charge here? Vec is the lord of this castle. But if you want to talk to someone responsible here, then you had better go to Thoris. He is a Mora, like you. He usually stands on the bridge at the south gate of Trellis. That is, at the gate on the other side of the moat here. He'll take care of you. No! We do not know if we can trust you. <laughs> oh well. Tell me what you need, and then go! I'm busy! That's the way it is. I need weapons. I have a few things for a fighter like nice you. Can you teach me how to be a smith? I'm supposed to teach you? you bah! Exactly Why? What have you done for me? You are permitted to wield your weapon for the orc people. Isn't that enough for you? Who taught you how to be a smith? We orcs are warriors. Many of us are masters of this art. Often it is passed down from father to son. Are you a good smith? I should certainly think so. That's Many warriors smith. have gone to battle successfully with my blades. It's but that was not honor. always so. You, you should have seen my first sword, Mora. It was shabby with a jagged blade, but I have always carried it with me. It reminds me of my father. You don't have your old sword anymore? No! Because that idiotic failure of an overseer, Tempek, just won't listen to what he's told. I said he could take some weapons from my chamber for his excavations at the Eastern Temple, but not the old sword lying on my bed, I said. Tempek must have taken it, the idiot. Show me your goods. I prefer a decent piece of You haven't earned it, Mora. Well, that's a shame, huh? A hundred twenty five damage. I'm gonna purchase one because mine now has about, um, I don't know, eighty, ninety five damage, something like that. Which means this one is way, way better. It's not a beautiful weapon, though, but you know, it's about the damage, not the blade. I'll keep lur the lurker claws until you deliver them to one of the uh, hunters slash Hashishin in Lago, I think it was. I need saws, also quest related. Um, my gold and my silver chalices and such, I will, uh, you know, give to the rebels to get certain hidden quests. And these two I'm gonna keep to poison my blade. I need one, not two. I'll keep them for now. Show me your goods. Let's sell my main sword that I had. You more have no honor, that's the way it is. Put down your good, Mora. Relax, friend. I was just testing, you know. Feel the power of the blade. Stop! Not one step further! 
Whose building is this? The War Council of our Lord Vak is here, Moran. I see. Halt, Mora. Do you have any healing potions? I need healing potions. Give me all you've got, or I'll pound you, understand? I'll give you one for now. That's not enough. I need more. Why do you warriors have so few healing potions? That slimy Mora Avogadra was our alchemist, but he disappeared a couple of days ago. Just took off the bastard. No idea where he is, but he had better move his butt back to his lab. I'll find Avogadro for you. Not just find Mora. You'll bring him here, got it? I'm sure you can teach me how to fight better. You need it too. You Moras are such a bunch of weenies. You've got to improve. You're right, Mora. Would you teach me how to fight? And still no three, huh? I'm uh, waiting for large weapon number three, but so far no training yet. It's a bit asking too much. I need more water. Here it says something about alchemy. can almost make permanent potions and poison my blades and arrows but some among the nomads would not follow Enos and the people of the nomads were divided and those who followed Enos erected great temples and they became the people of Varent and the scepter became the token of their rulership I already know that. Ancient knowledge 32. I can now also learn telekinesis, which is very handy. being here you are working for the orcs of course or should I go hide in caves like the rebels do I'm strong and I don't want to hide you know you are a paladin I used to be one until we lost the war and our rune magic too today I'm nothing but a shadow from the past even the great plans of the fire mages aren't going to change that you're fighting against your own people? Enos has deserted us all. When the rune magic died, so did my faith. I will not raise my sword against the oppressors again, unless Enos gives me back my magic. What great plans of the fire mages would that be? Some mages in Nordmar think they have found a way to restore our magic. That's why they're searching for those old fire chalices, and having them taken to their monastery. What else do you know about the fire chalices? Nothing. I only know where one of them is. And where? In my pocket. I found it among the junk belonging to the soldiers who were driven from this castle. Give me the fire chalice. To do what with it? Whatever you don't seem to be able to do. Hmm. All right. Here, take the thing. Who knows, if you take it to the fire mages in Nordmar. Maybe some good will come out of it. Oh, I've got better plans. Well, well, depending on how you look at it. Be careful what you touch in here, stranger. I will tolerate you in my house only as long as you have gold. I hope you get the point. Who are you? I'm a direct emissary from Verant. My name is Kabir. I buy and sell the rare valuables of the desert. I will make you a powerful man, if you can afford it. If your purse is empty, you might as well not waste my time. 
Every blessing has its price, as does every curse. Show me your goods. You've got some water? No? No water? Shame. Um, okay, that uh, changes my uh, perspective with the Balear playthrough. Instead of the desert, then my first priority was going to Travis. Because uh, I thought only in the desert I was allowed to get some armor. Although here I have to pay for it and in the desert I get for free. So might as well go to the desert still. But uh, he has no water and I need water. He does have arrows though. Let's get Afakadro and uh, go to the temple as well. You look like a strong fighter. You are surely the right person to help me with the small problem in the caves under my farm. What's up with the caves under your farm? I've been hearing this scary grunting up here for days now. I suspect that some beasts have made themselves at home in the caves below this rock. I can no longer sleep in peace. You're the boss here? The orcs are the bosses. They squeeze us farmers like ripe fruit. I think the only reason they haven't killed us peasants yet is because they know nothing about breeding livestock. They would probably starve if it weren't for us. Not quite, they will hunt, but uh, eventually they would. How's it going on your farm? If I didn't have to pay such high rent every month, I'd be a lot better off. How much rent do you pay the orcs? They want a thousand gold coins every month. I managed to scrape the gold together, but so far, I haven't dared to leave my farm. First, I want to know what's wrong with the caves down there. I will take care of the grunting beasts in the caves. Go eradicate those nests down there once and for all. Show me your goods. Do you have some water? No, no. Also not. You do. Well, oh, look at that. Three bottles. Well, better than none. I will talk with Avogadro later. You don't look like a swineherd. Neither do you. What do you want here? To empty out the farm? Why would you worry about that? You've got a point, I suppose. But I'm telling you, there isn't much here to be had. If you want to steal, then you'll get a better haul from the orcs in Trellis. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about, kid. I see. Where is the best place to get rid of hot property? West of here in Namora is Dudley. He'll buy your stolen goods. Where can I get something really valuable? The Shaman Kamak at the excavation in Trellis carries an artifact. It must be some sort of power source. Well, can't hurt for him to lose it, I guess. I will plunder the castle of Trellis sooner or later. 
Nice. If you pull that off, I might show you a couple of tricks. Well then, don't let the orcs catch you. Oh no, you're gonna be surprised. The orcs are stupid when they trust you. Although, I will not be able to open the chests. Most of them at any rate, because uh... With this guy, even though I will train thieving at some point, I will not learn how to open locks, um, impossible locks, or how to unlock um, difficult, difficult locks, due to the fact as a servant of Adonos, at some point I will get the magical capabilities of uh, doing so with magic, and that uh, that is free, the only thing it costs is 230 ancient knowledge and mana and uh, then you can get it let me quick save before I will go into the cave you know there are about three to four ripper beasts I think did I already pass the entrance? I don't think I did nope here it is Now that were the Ripper Beast, this weapon deals a nice amount of damage. Still haven't sharped it yet, which means that we'll get 10 more. It will be hard to put a refined uh, a replacement when it comes to crafting your own, but that's alright. You know, the more or the less blueprints I have to buy, the faster I can get 50,000 gold pieces for the Orc Varric. Um, I will trade it for a artifact of uh, Adonis, and um, I need a whole lot of gold for all the armor types, and um, yeah, that's gonna be quite, quite an expensive feat. But uh, you know, in the end, you will get as rich as you possibly can imagine, even richer than the amount of gold that you will need. Although you will have to waste a lot of gold as well on training and whatnot, you know. They don't do that stuff for free. Let's go quickly back up to the upper area of uh, the cave. Of the cave, there is should be another, at least maybe a chest, a couple of plants, something, you know. This cave is locked. But I'm pretty sure there was another entrance somewhere. I just have to find it. There it is. Sorry, bunny, but uh, your meat will come in handy at some point. How many bundles of weapons do I currently have? Nine. Hmm, I needed about 13, I think, more. For uh, the orc in uh, Montara.
All right, so let's uh, tell the man that his farm is clear. Man, what are you? I'm gonna hit the hay. You'd better go now. Where's the farmer? Is that guy slave slave of a gadro man what do you want I think the guy is bugged or something cause uh he ain't here what the hell let me first deliver avocadro no please don't hurt me it, it wasn't me Hold on. What have you been up to? Out with it. Um, nothing. I'm just a simple farmer doing my job. Believe me. You're no farmer. You're a runaway alchemist. You work for the orcs in Trellis. Please don't give me away. I'll give you all my gold. But don't tell anyone I'm hiding here, all right? Why did you run away from Trellis, anyway? Can you imagine? How the orcs treat you when you aren't a fighter. You're always getting pushed around and humiliated. I just couldn't take it anymore. You're going back to Trellis, or I'll drag you there. You're a nasty bounty hunter. Fine, I'll go back. But you better make sure I get there in one piece, pig. I'm no bounty hunter. I'm doing my job, as you should do. Be glad that the the orcs just simply didn't kill you like all the rebels that they did kill, you know. But I do hope that uh, our good farmer friend will be bugged out because uh, he has vanished into thin air. And this time I'm pretty sure it was not the bandit. So I would just uh, sleep into the city, sleep till morning, quickly run back, you know, to see if the farm has been respawned. Or I could also first go to the temple. Let me do that after delivering him. I found Avogadro. Very good. Now take him back to his we'll lab. I found him on one of the farms. <sighs> oh, how nice for him. I'm here. Are you happy now? You'll survive. Make me some healing potions. So that's how it is. Now I get to work for you too. That's why you're here. <sighs> Here's a couple of healing potions. Show me your goods. No water. Really, you're an alchemist, man. How can you have no water? There's another solution. There's another problem. If we crack down too hard, we'll soon run out of slaves. Moors have no honor, and that's the way it is. Avogadro is working in your lab again. Fine. If he takes off like that again, I'll kill him myself. Very good, Mora. You're pretty useful, all in all. Well, well, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Right, so let's quickly go to the temple.
This part can become quite tricky. You know, it's filled with the undead. Fortunately, there are no priests inside this temple, but the undead is still annoying nevertheless. Nevertheless. You'd better not get too close to the temple, Mora. How are the excavations going? Not good at all. I'm supposed to collect artifacts and other relics here. But I don't know where I should get them. There's nothing more to be had out here. And 20 snappers couldn't drag me back into the temple. What's wrong with the temple? It's swarming with undead, Mora. You'd better not mess around with those disgusting beings. Have you ever been in the temple? I most certainly have. My group here used to be twice as big. But then suddenly, all these skeletons came out of the ground and attacked us. What you see here is the battered remains of my people. The others were lost in the temple. Are there any survivors in the temple? I don't know. Someone will have to look. But I won't do it. That much is certain. I get the picture. Milok is looking for his old sword. Don't bother me with that old story, Mora. It could be that I brought it here with me. But I don't really remember. I don't have time for that sort of nonsense. Show me your goods. At least he has water. You know. Much appreciate that. Do I have a frying pan? No, I do not. Well, let me purchase one. Could become in handy. Just for the fun. Claws I don't need. Let me uh, check uh, relatively quickly. Or what I can sell. Thanks. Put away your weapon. Can't no way. Be Mora. I'm the lizard slayer. I like to slay lizards. So let's see if we can find some survivors, which we will, a Orca Shaman. Here's the full shovel for one of the farmers that I already did in the ep last episode, except for the uh, the shovel, which was uh, killing a couple of gobos. T 
too hard. Broken. Not many on that. Two skeletons, one zombie, and one temple god. Not, not bad. I need a lockpick. Oh, really? Don't have lockpicks. I need a lockpick. May Beliar protect you, Mora. I almost took you for one of those disgusting undead. I thought I would be left to rot here forever. Tempek has given up the search for survivors in the temple. That's just like him. His fear far outweighs his honor. I never found out how he managed to become an overseer. He would be better off herding sheep, the coward. Can you walk? You're about to see if I can. Come on. Let's get out of here. So I have to remember when I'm gonna look for goods. I also need to look out for lockpicks. Because uh, I got none. So I couldn't open the chests below. The two chests. But that's fine. After this I will go to the bandits. May oh, well, the rebels. Maybe they have some lockpicks. Thank you for your help, Mora. I would never have found the courage to face the undead by myself. Take these potions as a token of my gratitude. Handle the undead by yourself? You didn't do shit. I found a survivor in the temple. Kamek the Shaman. Thank Beliar. Kamek's death would have been a great loss for the Orcish people. Thanks for the good news, Mora. Show me your goods. At least he also has some lockpicks. Let's instantly open those chests. So that I do not forget them. Ring of the Hunt, would you look at that? Uh, that's currently far more handier than the Ring of Strength. Although I don't have 300 now anymore, but that's fine. That's one training and it's fixed, you know. So five learning points out of 20. rest will go into hunting so I can learn the masteries of hunting. Shall I quickly go to the rebels? Mm, sure, sure, let's quickly go there. Since this is relatively near one of the druids, I will instantly, instantly go to one of the druids, um, wh Man. which I got. What do you want? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why were you red? Maybe because Not I one just step further. 
I don't know why they were red spot. Shut up. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead now. Uh, all right. Then forget I said anything. Keep calm, kid. I won't hurt you. You haven't come to make trouble, have you? Never mind. Tell me what's going on up here. This is a rebel camp. I am a rebel, and fight for the king. Aha. Uh -huh. And? Killed any orcs? I haven't been in any battles yet, but I'm looking forward to taking out my first orc. You couldn't even kill a meat bug. I've already practiced a lot with my sword. Bring on the orcs. Yeah, yeah. What do you do here all day long? I make sure no one sneaks into the camp. Doing a great job, obviously. It's not that easy, you know. Especially not with all the beasts in the area. But what scares me the most is the undead in the cave over there. I don't want to know what they do to someone they got their hands on. Oh, I could tell you a thing or two about that. I could clean out the undead cave for you. You'd really have the guts to go into a cave full of undead? It wouldn't be the first time. If you manage that, I'll give you 300 gold coins, all right? I'll think about it. All right, so let's take care of that. After the cave, I will quickly go to uh, Porgen, I think his name was, and uh, learn a, a couple of capabilities of Adenos. I can learn this one and this one and this one nearly. Um, age and knowledge 32. So if I waste my five learning points into instead of strength into age and knowledge, I can also learn tame, which means bye bye 20 learning points. But I do will have a couple of useful Adonis capabilities because tame will require allow me to tame any animal for a certain amount of time. I don't want to die, it's been been a while. Since I saved. So, you know, better be careful. Alright, so let's save and uh, let's clear out this cave with the undead. Now if you want to hit skeletons with the bow, make sure to use knock arrows. Otherwise they will go right through them. But I will use my sword. There are also zombies down here as far as I know. Well, could be wrong. Nope, only skeletons, the whining ones. Let's see what we can find here when it comes to loot. Alright, so let's quickly go to Porgen.
because the uh, team is going to be very, very handy. It's going to allow me to have a companion at all times. Now be aware though, the taming spell, as far as I know, will eventually wear out. As far as I can, as I know. I'm not 100% sure, but as far as I know, it will wear out. But maybe not with uh, the actual power. Did you wake me? Heal my wounds. Light of Adonos, illuminate this body. Teach me something about ancient magic. Good. Power means responsibility. Adonos does not give it frivolously. Adonos gives you his magic so that you will help to guide the fate of the world. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. You aren't ready for that. Just checking, you know. Power means responsibility. Adonos does not give it frivolously. You aren't ready for that. Summon Goblin is also a Adonos spell. Okay. Uh, why did you wake me? If it were so easy. Indeed that it is. Um, let's put chain to six. Summon animals could be quite handy at some point. Alright, so let's quickly go to the rebels. Now, only as a servant of Adonis will I use these druid stones. Because it's Adanos Maho. The cave over there is an old cemetery. The skeletons that were there are nothing but dust now. That's reassuring. It's worth 300 gold coins to me. Fine. Man, what do you want? What are you doing sneaking around? What is it? Damn. There you are. What's Finally. Wrong? I thought you wouldn't be coming back. Have we met? You're not the messenger from Nomura? Damn. I have to know if Nomura still stands. What are you doing in this cave? We were overrun by the orcs when we tried to secure the Temple of Trellis. They're obsessed with searching for divine artifacts. They came with about 30 warriors. All we could do was flee here. What is so important about the temple? Every artifact that the orcs recover can be used against us. The excavations at the temple must be stopped. Someone has to prevent the orcs in and around the Temple of Trellis from digging. You mean kill them? How else? 
They don't understand any other language. So far, I've heard nothing about Nomura being destroyed. Then you'll have to tell their leader that we're pinned down here. Nomura needs to send reinforcements, quickly. What do you know about the divine artifacts? The orcs have taken everything they could recover from the temple to Trellis. If one of those rare artifacts was indeed in the temple, then it's bound to be in Trellis now. I see. What's the name of the leader in Nomura again? You don't know. It seems to me you don't even know where Nomura is. Of course I know where Nomura is. Then hurry and get reinforcements. If you pick the other option, you will fail the quest. Why did you well, wake me? It will be cancelled. And uh, I like to complete quests, you know, so... I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Unless unavoidable. Man, what do you want? How about a nice amount of money? That surely helps. About uh, 23k. That should do. Well, 33k is still what I need for the orcs and trailers for the divine artifact. Alchemy's 40, so I can learn how to make permanent potions. That's good. All I need now is le level up. Let's uh, quickly deliver Ben's shovel. One permanent potion of strength for to reach it back to 300 and uh, I will make as many hunting potions as possibly needed to get to, uh, to 200 as quickly as possible I think 200 was the max that I need 200 200 yep 200 is maxed and then the remaining learning points will go into ancient knowledge and afterwards into mana Broken. I have your shovel. You owe me something. Um, you were really in the temple? As you can see. But, but there were these horrible... Undead. One thing I've got to give you. You're brave. You forgot something. What? Cash, pal. Out with it. Sometimes I've seen the farmer Derek creeping over to the Eno statue at night. Take a look around. He's definitely got something stashed away there. Already have it, but thanks for the info, though. Alright, so let's quickly go back to Trellis. I don't think I have a teleporter stone for that. No, not yet.
Let's also check if uh, my good friend has been bugged out. The uh, farmer was bugged, you know. So let's check out if he has been unbugged. He has. Good. The grunting beasts beneath your farm are gone. High time that someone took care of them. Here's the rent that is due to the orcs in Trellis. I'm positive that you are the right person to take it there. Show me your goods. You've got some Mizu, no? Well, I do got some junk for you. Now, since I have telekinesis, summoning animals I have as a, you know, ancient magic, telekinesis I have, and te animals I have, so I don't really need those and the rest, you know, it's light as such, summon lightning and fog, fog could be handy, especially in difficult situations. So I'll keep fog for now, but normally I don't use it, unless I have the magical capability for it which also known as ancient magic. He can't afford this. He has 2,200. Poor bugger. Twenty thousand, so I still need thirty. Not included my armor of both the rangers, the water mages, as well as uh, um, the mercenaries' outfits. I found your old sword. Really? Show me, indeed. This is it. Where did you find it? At the excavations in the Eastern Temple. I knew it. Tempek did pocket it. Exactly. Dog. Thanks, Mora. For that, you'll get something from me. We have to crack down. Will you teach me how to be a smith now? You help me, I'll help you. Mora's are nothing but trouble. Thanks. Don't need it at the moment, though. Stop! Not one step further! Stop interrupting me. Let's go to Thoris. You again! I can't go anywhere without running into you, can I? I remember. Your name is Thoris. You're the last person I expected here. What's it gonna be? Should I make you a slave, or kill you on the spot? Be right back, guys. I need something to drink.
Are you still mad about that old business? Every time you show up, everything goes to hell. I've had enough of that. The orcs rule the world now, and you will obey their rules or die. I see you're playing gatekeeper again. Spare me your sarcasm, you bastard. I guarantee you I'm the only human in Mertana who has managed to make orcs obey his orders. If you wreck everything for me again, this time I'll kill you. Got it? Alright, so I'm back, uh, but you guys have most likely already noticed that's what, sorry about the inconvenience. But I managed to drink. You're a commander of the orcs? That's right. I take care of the outer areas of Trellis. The farms around here must be inspected, and the excavations in the Eastern Temple need to be guarded. The job is hard enough as it is. Now that you're here, I'll really have to watch out. Relax, everything will be fine. Don't ever let me hear you say that again, understand? You wouldn't talk so tough if you ran into those sneaky forest fellows. Let me tell you, if they get their hands on you, they'll make mincemeat out of you. Can I help you? I'd prefer it if you just went away again. But since I'm sure you won't do me that favor, you might as well work for me. The orcs let you, a human, order them around? You're impressed, huh? <laughs> the orcs captured the island of Corinus and brought us humans to the mainland in their galleys. We were given the choice to become slaves or fighters for the orcs. I won fights in every arena in Mertana and adopted the orcs' ways as my own. Once you learn to think like an orc, the rest is easy. Tell me more about the city of Trellis. Trellis is a strategically important castle of the orcs. We are close to the desert of Varent here. Lots of Hashishin come by here on their way to the Midlands. Nowhere in the Midlands will you find more experienced warriors and more prosperous Hashishin than here. So, right up your alley. Right. What sneaky fellows are you talking about? Some ogres live in the caves out there in the woods. Until recently, they were quite peaceful. But now they're attacking anything that moves in their woods. I wouldn't go out there if I were you. What is there to do on the farms? The farm to the west hasn't been heard from in ages. I sent out a reconnaissance patrol to find out what's wrong. But I haven't heard from them in days either. Go see what's going on out there. How are the excavations at the Eastern Temple coming along? The overseer Tempek is constantly demanding new men and the deliveries are missing. I've had enough of that. Go to the temple and tell Tempek that he must send a delivery. The excavations at the Eastern Temple are on track again. It's about time. Not much longer and I would have gotten in trouble from above. Here is your pay, bastard. Thank you, bastard. Now let's see if I can tame one of these ogres. Possible. All right, so they are too powerful. Too bad. Too bad.
have four ogres in total. Five, okay. Power of the environment, because uh, you know it's not my fault that the developers made them so dark, goddamn dumb. I'm just abusing the moment. So that means I can learn two things of alchemy, which is exactly 10 learning points. Mids I find a trainer, that is. One more bundle and I have enough for the orc in uh, Montera. In total about 20 already delivered, Broken. 7 I think, maybe 8, but just getting 13 just to make sure that I can finish that quest. these wolves. Why did I do him damage before? Weird. The only downside of it, if it dies, well, if it dies before. Oh, really? I can say go back. Go back now! Interesting. Well, if it dies under your control, you will lose the XP, so uh, I, I just undid it to get its XP and uh, I will get a new sample. I just wanted to test something and I totally fucked it up, oh well. Wanted to test if, uh, you know, they would attack my pet.
let's have a chicken on my control. <laughs> totally useless. I just can't go on. Hey, stranger. Did you hear anything about the rebels in Namora? What do you want from the rebels? Some of them were here a few days ago. I would have loved to go with them. I'm tired of working on the farm here. Living in freedom is better than being a slave to the orcs. What do you know about Nemora? Nemora is a rebel camp to the west. Those guys up there are really well organized. Do you know where Nemora is? Well, I've been there before. I observed them for days, but I never found the courage to show myself. I wish I had now. I wouldn't try again to go there by myself. I'll do that later, you know, with the next episode where we go to Namora. What are you doing on my farm? If you've come to collect the rent, forget it. The rebels came and pillaged everything. There's nothing left to take here. Rebels attacking harmless citizens? Those layabouts are only hiding in the woods so they won't have to do any decent work. How are you going to pay your tribute to the orcs if you have nothing left? Right now, the orcs have other things to worry about. The orcs won't be around here much longer if you ask me. Soon the Hashishan will take over everything, and then the deck will be reshuffled. The Hashishan want to take over the Midlands? Oh, what do I know? At any rate, I've been seeing more Hashishan here than orcs over the last few weeks. The Verant Desert begins not far from here, to the south. Go see the magnificent buildings they've erected there for yourself. I refuse to believe the orcs are letting them do that out of the goodness of their hearts. The orcs are scared of them, that's what I think. You don't really seem to mind the orcs hanging around. I don't care who I work for, king or orcs. It makes no difference. Somebody or other is always ruler of the Midlands. What about your rent then? I already told you that the rebels attacked me. Nonsense. Rebels will attack orcs or orc mercenaries, but never farmers. If you say so. Two days ago, three rebels came to my farm from the west. Their leader was called Hengli, or something like that. He and his men turned my entire farm upside down and took whatever they could find. Where did Hengli go with your gold? They headed back to the west where they came from. Show me your goods. I got some water. Good, good. I'll take your eating potion as well. And you have 4k gold. Oh, will you look at that. He has 4 gold, K gold to trade, but he can't afford his rent. What a joke. I heard that the rebels raided Farman's farm. So what? They never harmed me. I see. Alright, so now let's quickly go to Thoris. Um, and then we're gonna go to the farm which has been set on fire by rangers. Let me let me tame this bloodfly. That will be a good test. Ah oh, come on, at least at least fly. Look guys, I got a pet. It's a blood fly. Don't know why it's not flying, but maybe I should have attacked it first. Well, they don't seem to attack it. Let me test with the city here. 
It's kind of cute though. Do I have to try to pull the stone? Yes, okay. Just making doubly sure. Those sneaky ogres are guaranteed not to bother anyone ever again. Good. One less thing to worry about. Here is your pay. I wonder how long the uh, spell will, will remain active. Three for one, good trade. But they won't attack my pets, so that's uh, that's nice. Gonna have one of those saber tooth tigers, maybe. Now I need to kill them for a quest. Watch your step here, or you might erase old traces. What happened here? I'd like to know that too. This farm was just fine until a few days ago. There were four peasants living here. Now they are all gone. And the farm is completely trashed. Who could have done that? Well, if I knew that, I'd be chasing after them now. There's a cave over to the west. I've seen some beasts there. They look mighty dangerous. Maybe they made this mess here. I could have a look inside this suspicious cave for you. Do that. You should probably just kill anything that's alive there. But don't get yourself eaten. Thoris wants to know why he hasn't heard anything from this farm. I bet he does. Well, you can see for yourself that there's nobody left here. Nah, true that. True that. But fear not. I am here. Now the saber tooth tigers are going to be quite a challenge, but uh, we'll manage, I hope. Too hard. Maybe because it's quest related. Could be. Nah. I'm pretty sure stray wolves, you know, the ones at Montara, are doable. Two hits, 50 HP. Well, 50%. Once I would go to no Nordmar, I would test it again on normal Saber Tooth Tigers. It could be because they're quest related, but I highly doubt it. Maybe it's also connected to your ancient knowledge. Could be. Would make sense. The higher knowledge you have, the greater beasts you can use as allies.
but that's just speculation, you know, um, because it's been years before I uh, started doing this for my YouTube channel, not this channel, but my previous channel, um, even did it on live stream too, um, but, you know, at some point the game got corrupted, or, well, corrupted, the, um, content on Twitch that I had back in the day got corrupted, so I had to redo, and once I did redo the redo, which was the path of Enos, because I wanted to keep Adenos as a live stream, you know, um, my PC died, so I'm now just doing Adenos, because it's the first run, and it should be the one actually to be completed first, before Enos, before Balear. I do have to redo Enos 1, of course, as well as uh, still do the one of Balear, but in the end, they will get all done. Alright, so we're clear here. Clear! In the cave to the west, I found nothing but a pride of saber-toothed tigers. They seem to be pretty distraught. I don't think that they made this mess on the farm. Damn it! And me hoping this wouldn't get too complicated. Complicated? What do you mean? Lately, I have seen some rangers roaming about up in the northern woods. I wouldn't be surprised if those bastards were responsible for the devastation here. You think that rangers could have done this? Don't underestimate those people. They are a belligerent lot. When they show up in numbers, they can be a serious threat. What should I do? Rangers are often led by a druid. Find out if their druid gave the order for this mess here. And if he did, kill him. No, I will not kill him unless I have officially obtained his uh, a druid stone. Which means I have to get the rebel on the ground in um, Geldern at the ready. I will stop that beast. Uh, 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 the That's one less. You nearly shot me, you idiot orc. But in order to, you know, the thing is with the path of Adenos, I can't just kill the druids. Even though I'm uh, on the side of the orcs and it requires me to kill them. I will not kill them unless I have legally obtained their Darude power. Which means, you know, doing their quests before getting their stones legitimately. And then I'm allowed to kill them if needed for certain quests. This Darude is one of them. The Shadow Beast Darude Keeper. The power of the Shadow Beast one, you know. It's also another one that I have to kill for the orcs, but I can't kill all of them until I have all their armors completed, which will be quite inexpensive, but I see it as a collection, you know, as a uh, thing to collect as a specific path. As with Rebel, I will collect all Rebel armors, Fire Mage rope, you know, Nordmar, Nordmarian armors, or whatever those guys are named. Um, and with Ashishin, I'll get all Ashishin armor, the Black Mage's robe, you know, as well as the Human Orc armor. Just as mere collectibles. And yes, all of them. From medium, well, from light to heavy to the strongest armor capable. So I'm not allowed to resell this armor particularly, you know. I can do so, but I won't allow myself to do so. So let's quickly go to the druid. Get a snapper as a companion. Now as soon as I get a new druid stone, that will be my use of teleportation, you know, transportation. Um, so if I get the druid stone of the snapper right here, <coughs> which I will get in the next city, 
Um, I will remove the Ripper Beast one and use the Snapper, you know. Until the end, I will uh, swing it around a bit. So that all the transformations have been shown. Sorry for the loot planting, I know that will uh, get a bit more time on the videos, but I do like plants. You know, and we're nearly done anyway, so. Let's go quickly to the druids. Go mind your own business. 25,000. You're too loud. You're scaring off all the game. I am Torn, druid and warrior of Adnos, and you are different from the others. Where do you think you know me from? You are restless, Decider. Without a country. I know that. You are like me. If you are in one place too long, you no longer feel alive. You are a warrior of Adenos? See what the beasts of Beliar have done in their avarice? There are very few humans who can live free and without fear. I am the terror that will fall upon the orcs if they dare to attack the woods. Teach me to fight like a druid. I know who you are, Decider. And so I also know that your path is not determined by the gods. How do I know that you won't use the power of the druid stones against us druids? Tell me about the Druid Stones. They are the sacred stones of Adnos, the source of our being. They are six in number, six like the number of their masters. In each of them lives the power of an animal. My stone is the Stone of the Snapper. The orcs believe that you destroyed a farm near Trellis. And they're damn right. I did. Humans like those farmers who work for the orcs only make things worse for everyone. I can't stand by and watch while humans let themselves be enslaved just to extend their miserable existence. Better dead than a lackey of that brood of Beliar. I won't rest until the seed of evil has vanished from our woods. Well spoken, brother. Show me your goods. Rangers close 25,000 and the druid's robe only 20,000. You're alright. And I can purchase it. Ooh. Now, even though the druid is cheaper and has better stats, uh, let me go for You're the druid. Right. I will get this one later on. Why? Because I collect them, like I said previously, you know. As well as it's better than this armor, so... And cheaper for that matter. Although I need about 50k, but, you know, that's fine. I will get, get that at some point anyways. And it's not really in a rush, you know. Put me to the test. Go to Geldern and convince the humans there to fight at your side against the orcs. Then I will teach you druid magic, Decider. Very well. And I've got myself some tattoos. Oh, whoop de doo
it's too bad that you can't give the you know your pet some food. Would have been funny. Now oh, it's getting late though, so you know, so I will have to uh, keep my voice a bit down so I don't wake people up. But that won't stop me from doing commentary. I've just, uh, totally forgot about the fact that I have to speak to the York Commander over there. Torn the Druid raised this farm and killed all the peasants. That swine. I thought as much. Good work. Here's some gold for you. I hope you killed Torn for this. Uh, no. <clears throat> Too bad. Then I will have to see to it myself. Have you got a message for Thoris? Tell him not to expect anything from this farm anymore. It's a goner. Look, can you do that, Mr. Orc? No, you cannot. Come on, buddy. The farm to the west has been devastated. No one is left alive there. I knew it. I can only hope that this is an isolated incident. Otherwise, we'll be dependent on the caravans. And that will be expensive for Jealous. Here is your pay. Now what is the remaining 4%? Rebel reputation. Alright. Going uh, to the temple I think. I'm not quite sure. Bit confused. Let's go Betty. Not Betty, but Petty, you know. And not Petty as in Risen, but Petty as in the Pet. This is, uh, Mr. Snapper. He's my mate. Go hunting a lot, you know, and kill a lot of things. And he doesn't complain. I don't like snakes. No, they're nasty little animals. The flames remind me of the war. Nothing. That's a shame. And I've walked all the way here to, for no reason. Because I can't teleport back, you know, otherwise I will lose my snapper. And if I send it uh, back, it will run all the way back, so... I'll just keep him for now. Because it's a pet, and I like to have pets. 
I'm also testing, you know, uh, to see how long it lasts. Is it forever till it dies? Or till you send it back? Or will it wage off at some point? Because I can't really recall. Oh, you spoke me down a little, my friend. Well, I still miss 4% and I'm not entirely sure on as to why. But there are quite a few things that I had wrong in Gothic 1 and Gothic 2. You know, telekinesis, I thought was Belial. It's actually Adenor's. Golem is also Adenor's, I thought, Belial. Goblin is go uh, is uh, Adenor's as well, I thought Belial. So uh, I've got quite some things wrong, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so let's see if we can. Sp oh, wait, maybe the board guy. The board bugger. You're more than just a merchant, aren't you? How perceptive of you. The orcs are searching throughout the land for relics of the Ancient Ones. We give the orcs free access to all parts of Varat and support them in their excavations. I see to it that the orcs keep up their end of the agreement. What's the agreement between you Hashishin and the orcs? We support the orcs and they pay us for it. It's as simple as that. But Vak has been behind on his payments for a few days now. I cannot say that this pleases me at all. How much gold does Vak still owe you? An inconceivable amount of gold, stranger. If Vak doesn't pay up soon, we will close the gates of Varant to the orcs. We won't open them again until the orcs settle their debt. Tell me more about the relics of the Ancient Ones. The orcs will gather whatever artifacts and ancient writing they can find, but they are most interested in the divine artifacts. They say that the Ancient Ones possessed several of them. That's why they make the humans excavate the old temples in order to find them. Oh, and don't forget, of course, that I will also wear the robe of Adonis, the crown of Adonis. Everything that is of Adonis I will wear. What do you know about the divine artifacts? I'm a businessman, not a scholar. The secrets of these rare relics have so far remained concealed from us secular people. Presumably, they are incredibly powerful in the hands of one who is chosen by the gods. But who knows? What divine artifacts have the orcs already found? They say that such an artifact existed in the Eastern Temple of Trellis. Existed? It is no longer there. What makes you so sure? Quite simple. I know where it is. Do you really? Where is the divine artifact from the Eastern Temple? The price for this answer exceeds the capacity of your purse, I'm afraid. What will it take for you to tell me how to get to the divine artifact? Here's the deal, stranger. You see to it that Vax sticks to his part of the agreement, and I will help you. I think that is only fair. If you say so. Which means I have to pay 50,000 to the leader of the orcs and the leader of the orcs will give me the divine artifact and he will say See, I uh, told you where to find your divine artifact and you fixed my problem in two so. Stop! Not one step further! Let me in! Alright! But behave yourself! Me? Always! That's the way it is! Why are you disturbing my council of war? Speak! 
council of war. The war is over. Little smartass. You humans have been subdued. No serious threat can be expected from you anymore. Nevertheless, I must attend to the balance of power in this part of the country. Who could challenge the power of the orcs? I said nothing of challenge. I said balance of power. The Hashishin are our allies. They let us conduct excavations in their desert. Furthermore, they grant us unobstructed access to their desert and their cities. For that, we pay them a heap of gold. But despite their friendship, someone has to make sure they don't get too strong. And that is my task. You're preparing for a war with the Hashishin? We are on the edge of the desert here. If the Hashishin send a sizable army into the Midlands, I will get warning from here first. If this castle falls, nothing will stop the Hashishin from entering the Midlands. I want to prevent that. Tell me more about your alliance with the Hashishin. The Hashishin were very helpful in the war against the Moras. They took care of that part of the world which we orcs rarely visit. The desert. Furthermore, we pray to the same god, Belial. It was a strategic decision to make an alliance with them. What about the rebels? Yes, right. They still exist too. And you say the war is over. Bah! The rebels raid the farms, blockade the pass to the desert, and rob us whenever they can. They're said to have a major camp up in the west. They call it Nemora. I would love to eradicate Nemora, but I have other worries at the moment. As you know, I would richly reward anyone who manages to smash that camp to bits. Uh, if I can afford it, of course. How are the excavations going? We're digging like lunatics all over the world to find the divine artifacts. So far, our efforts haven't borne as much fruit as we hoped. Only Belion knows if the amulet from the temple in the east really is a divine artifact. I want your divine artifact. <laughs> Why should I give it to you? It's of no value to you. Nonsense. I have other problems, Mora. I still don't have enough gold to keep our part of the agreement with the Hashishin. That cutthroat of a Hashishi, Kabir, has been waiting for an answer from me for days. What do you think will happen if he doesn't get his accursed gold soon? I will bring you the gold for the Hashishin. You want to bring me all the gold? Are you serious? We're talking about 50,000 gold coins. Phew, that's not pocket change. I know that, you moron! But all right. If you actually manage to succeed, then we can talk about the artifact again. I'll see what I can do. Where should I get the gold for the Hashishin? The best way is to visit the farmers in the area and demand the rent. Go to the adjacent temple and have them give you everything they've discovered there. You'll have to get the rest of the gold somewhere else. I don't care how you do it, just do it fast. I see. Still need uh, 45,000. You know, so that's gonna take a while. Show me your goods. Alright guys, thank you for guys for watching, this is about the end of this episode, Trellis. Um, in the next episode, instead of going to the rebel camp, I will first go to Gelden and Silden. The reason for this is due to the fact that Okara will connect me to the desert, 
and once I'm in the desert I will explore the desert for one Shaq or the lion druid stone two the lizard druid stone as well as the divine artifacts of Adenors and uh, the water mages and such you know so thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see feel free to subscribe to my channel and if you do hit that notification and um, if you guys want to thumbs it up or thumbs it down you know feel free to do so leave comments behind both positive and active feedback of any kind would uh, much appreciate it and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to Geldon so uh, yeah see you guys next time